Hello there, kids. It is I, Stray Cat, the one and only. Coming to you with another episode of Bully. All right, and we left off. We were, uh, well, we were near the last mission, and uh, last episode I had desperately tried to get one of the side missions done before the last mission, but now I've decided, screw it. <laughs> I'm not waiting all that time. Uh, it's time to finish the game instead of dragging it out. So, what I'm going to do is get off my bike and get started with the mission that has been sitting here waiting for me the whole time. What the hell are you doing here? Looking for you, Zoe. I think I'm in love. Don't be ridiculous. Haven't you heard? Heard Jimmy. what, my love? The school has broken Calm out down. into a massive fight. Every gang and faction is fighting each other. What? Yeah. No. Oh, man, I gotta go. How am I gonna deal with this? I'm gonna need some serious backup. Where's Russell? Where's your buddy Edgar? Russell has been holed up in the Wonder Meat Slaughterhouse, hiding from the cops. He's worried about going to prison after stealing that bike. Russell can comprehend prison? Wow. Look, I'll see you later. Well, what about love? It'll have to wait, Zoe. Duty calls. Also, now she's on board with the love part. <laughs> so now she's on board with it. Okay, well. We, uh, we, we give Russell less credit than we really should, honestly. Jimmy, really? Of course he comprehends prison. Come on now. Why wouldn't he? Whoops, that was a wrong button press, thank you. Oh, here we go! Get the shit done. Shoddy work! Shoddy work, dumbass. Alright. Rescue Russell from Wonder Meats. Oh boy. Um. Uh, let's uh, just run past him. Huh? I have a feeling Russell's like in this building over here. Okay, I'm kind of right. Oh jeez. Oh jeez. In we go, and I managed to avoid most of the problem. Jimmy, hey Russell, there you are. Not too bad. And I smell like meat. Well, I mean, you're kind of stuck in a warehouse that's supposed to be full of meat, but you did really. You don't belong here. Didn't really there see a lot no of meat there, did you? Probably because uh, they're still trying to go for a particular rating for this game. I wonder why. Oh boy. Stop. Getting out of here. Goodbye. Well, Russell managed to escape. Oh. Where the hell is that little runt? Thanks, Jimmy. Come on, we gotta get to the school. All hell's breaking loose. Yeah, there we go. Now we're getting somewhere. There's Edgar. Hey, Jim, this is your turf. What the hell's going on? The whole place has gone mental. Yeah, yeah it's know. your old friend Gary. He's the one causing all the trouble. The kid's a complete psycho, and now he's got the teachers and prefects on his side. Mm. So? So, we run in there, try to stop the fighting, and find a way to deal with Gary. <laughs> Simple. All right, one question. How are we going to stop a load of kids from beating the crap out of each other? It's America. We go in there with threats and bribes until we get what we want. If all else fails, we beat the crap out of everyone. That's why I brought along backup. Russell likes to hurt people for peace. Cool. I then can't it's a argue with Jimmy's logic because he's spot on. <laughs> Damn, they're locked. Don't Wait. worry, Russell will get it. Oh, that kind of hurt. Yeah, Edgar, we'll take out the gang leaders. Without them, Yeesh. Gary's got nothing. All right, going for the faction leaders. So all the uh, all the big, all the big people when it comes to this. And why are there why is there one in the girls? Oh boy, this can only lead to tragedy. Probably. <laughs> mm, mm. 
This is awesome. Johnny Vincentson. Okay. What the hell are you doing, Johnny? Why are you taking orders from Gary? Shut up, Jimmy. You left us and everything went down the toilet. I beat you once, I'll beat you again. Now, Russell. There we go. Paul, don't you? Did you just quote fucking? Yeah, you did. Walk tall. Walk tall, pony one. Okay. Getting. I'm just toying with you, kid. Oh yeah. I'm finished beating you. Oh. Ow. You want old Russell? Come on, son. There we go. Oh fuck. That 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 punch is powerful. Stop it. Jackass. Oh, you took down Johnny Vincent. Oh yeah. Of course I did. Done it a million times at this point. Okay, get off. Hey. Shit ass. Get down. Good. In two, three days, I love your dead man. In two, three days when I heal up your dead man. Oh wow. That was uh that was something. Alrighty, well, now that that's done, Johnny Vincent dealt with, time to, uh, deal with everyone else. Oh boy. Oh boy. It's getting all crazy everywhere else. Let's check out the library. You better not slow down. Okay. They're just, they're just all over the place, punching the crap out of each other. Kind of. <laughs> kind of something else. And Ted, of course, I uh, need you to help me. Get right lost, Jimmy. You ain't nothing. You're just asking for it. Isn't he always? Oh boy. You're getting dropped, bro. There we go. Gotcha. Whoop! You're not down. Now you are. Almost there. Like that, ain't oh, get off. Get off of this bat. It's mine now. You asshole. Or get you. Get the, get the other bat. Get this a little easier on ourselves. Maybe. What have we here? Kiss my fist. I love that line. And perfect. And we'll let Russell finish it off, baby. Or he doesn't want to swing. There we go. You best to me, bro. Do it while it lasts. Do it while it lasts. Well, I mean, the only reason I had to is because all of y'all have lost your fucking minds. <laughs> Need to beat them back into your heads. Clearly. Alright. Onward we go towards the next faction. Closest one, anyway. It should be the... Crap Dorm? Oh. Just like, bam. That was something to walk in on. Alright. Who is in here? If Johnny Vincent was in the uh, girls' dorm. Hey, Dirk, someone's here to see. You. Oh! Oh, it's the thug. Don't worry, boys. I'll deal with him. You're getting really tiresome, Darby. Cut it out. Yeah, he is. You're about uh, to be burning with a black eye. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Okay. I'm He's, oh, He's really trying in this. Oh, never you you are you have absolutely lost against me before. There we go. You know what? Let's grab one of these. Oh fuck you. Okay. God! Why is Darby the one I'm having problems with? Alright, I'm open for business. Fuck off with this. 
<laughs> Every time I grab a weapon, what Don't you should dare be helping me? Drop of my blue blood. Blue blood huh? There we go. There. Fuck off with that. Jeez. Why was he the difficult one? Russell Smash! Well, that's all the faction. Hey. That's all the fighting that that faction leader could take. Man, why was Darby the hard one? It's that fucking weird jab. Fucking. Why do I imitate things while I'm saying them? That was why my chair creaked, because I was imitating it. Oh, fuck off, Biff. Fuck off, Biff. I'm gonna beat the poor out of you. I don't know why they say poor people make the best boxers. There we go. Okay. I'm not even There. Why did I get so smash? Alright. There we go. Me and Russell, we can beat him down. He just does not want to stop. There we go. Destroy! Destroy! Now we're done with him. Now we can move on. <sighs> Who's the last one at this point? The nerds. It's got to be the nerds. Because they're in the gym. Yep. Ernest, you nerd! What were you thinking? You fool! You don't see it! Gary's got a plan! Great plan! You idiot! Got a Gary's plan. plans are a load of crap! I should know! You don't get it! My brains and his lack of morals, nothing can stop us! Right. Whatever! I'm gonna stop you both! Now, Russell! Yeah. I'll show you I'm not a whip! Where is the flag shirt? American flag shirt? I think that's exactly what he's wearing. Okay. How is Russell this close to death? Beat him down. Beat him down. There you go, Russell. Alright, well... I didn't think I needed to help Russell with that, but <laughs> there we go. I helped him. All right. This well. is how mad I. Okay. Um. Yeah, the madness continues even after I've uh, beat the faction leaders into a pulp. So. Gotta meet Edgar by the school. So, continue on, and we'll see where this entire fight ends up going. Yeah. In we go. Bunch of bitches. That was <laughs> nice job, Edgar. satisfying. Edgar, go help everyone calm down. I've got some business with Gary. Understood. Good luck. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> you, what is that in your hand? Weapons I don't have anything are for prefects hand. only. No! I'm sorry. What? Get off my little body! Grr! Took my fucking slingshot. Slow down so Russell can smash you. Aw, oh, come on. Your attention, please. Jimmy is complete human trash. You son of a Gary, bitch. Gary, you little bitch. Come out. Okay. James, I've been waiting. Didn't expect Let him to be the same person. begin. All right, well, I guess we're in a chase fight thing now for now okay
So now I've been Gary, completely stripped of moron. weapons. Why'd you do it, Gary? Why not? I won! I tricked everyone! Starting with you, the head, the loser kids in town, and the prefects! Me! I won! You are sad, man! I might be sad, but I run your world, moron! And don't you forget it! You did all my dirty work for me, Hopkins! You're like a puppet! Only dumber! Whatever! Let's finish this! <laughs> okay, uh... Serious megalomaniac vibes coming out of this, uh... <laughs> coming out of this kid. Now. Jeez. Why was he so obsessed with taking the school? Just to create this. This pandemonium hellhole. I mean, I get running it, you know, just to be like the most popular kid in school and whatnot. I can if get that. If you prove to be one thing this year, it's slow. You'll never catch me, Hopkins. You're too trusting, Jimmy. From the start, you were pathetically naive. Okay, well. Yeesh. Yeesh. Poor little Jimmy. All alone at Big Scary Bullworth, under fire from Russell and his boobs, desperate for help. I was so not sad, desperate so for help. Hopeless. Just needing a friend, any friend. You were so easy to manipulate, Jimmy. And once we were friends, it was all so clear. You had your lust for power, but without intelligence to back it up, using you as a pawn was so wonderfully obvious. Are you literally Let having Jimmy have this his fucking fun. monologue? Let him play his childish little games with Ernest, Ted, Darby, Johnny, and Edgar, and just wait for the right moment. It all fell together so perfectly. While well, you were off wasting your time with whores like Lola, I was in the dorm planning. Are you seriously having this long ass stupid monologue right now? While you were racing bikes, while you were playing at the carnival like a child, my plan was coming together. What plan? What plan? The thing is, if I win, you're just another punk! You win, and you'll be sent away even quicker for beating up the head boy! Why'd you do it, Gary? Because I can! Because making little people like you and the morons who run this place eat out of the palm of my hand feels great! But I okay, never did so anything you to you! Job. You would've if I'd given you the chance! Face it, I'm smarter than you! Oh, congratulations! So this is all a defensive... You hate everyone and everyone hates you! Genius! The head likes me! I tied him up, turned his dumb school into a battleground, got kids expelled, unfairly, put several others into therapy, and he still likes me! You're such a loser! <laughs> well, at least my mom doesn't make her living on her back! You're dead! <laughs> oh! That was uncalled for. What are you doing? So, this entire thing is just a defensive mechanism on his end. Just trying to make sure he doesn't get hurt in the long run. While also making sure he controls everyone so that way they will like him. Any regrets, Jimmy? Uh, Looking forward to the wasteland that your life is about to become? Uh, not particularly. Oh, jeez. Whoa. Nothing particularly in my mind, other than beating the crap out of you. There we go. There we go. Come on. Perfect. Oh, After you're expelled from here for your ant- Out of my face! There we go. Over the last few weeks, I- that, It went away too fast. You can read it. It went the game pause. There we go. I don't know how a kick managed to have that break, but okay. <laughs> Smith! I heard the whole thing! You're expelled! 
Coming on time, me boy. Yes, sir. <laughs> there Sorry. you go. Sorry, didn't see you there. You know, I think I may have judged you too unfairly, boy. Yes, really? a little rough around the edges, but you're a diamond, boy. A diamond. Thank you, sir. Now take out the trash, would you, Hopkins? My pleasure. Gotta love so it how was you who took games. on this monstrous little wretch, was it? Yep. Well, not you. What a hero. Not just a you. Let's be honest, uh -huh. Timmy. Well. Yeah, there he is. No. Now to be honest, it. sir, I did have a lot of help from some friends. Like this girl, Zoe. She got expelled because she complained about Mr. Burton hitting on her. Burton? Well, he's fired. I hope he rots in hell. And there a guy named go. Peter Kowalski, good friend of mine. Never heard of him. Yeah, well, he keeps quiet. He's kind of shy. Shy? The boy must be a genius. Why, well, he should be head of the school. Pete? Great idea. Yeah, it's a great now, idea. Now, about that letter to my mother. What letter? And there it is. Complete and utter resolution of the whole game. Well, I mean, Russell still kind of has the cops looking for him after that Wonder Meets incident. But, uh, other Finally, than that, everything hey, is graduate. sorted out, more or less. I mean, I don't want to say we're going to live happily ever after or anything like that, but life is certainly going to get easier. That is for sure. Oh. Okay. Mm. Mm. Yeah, that's a way to send off a game, sure. Why not? Twitchy Thumbs Entertainment Inc. Okay. Alrighty. That's that. That's the end of Bully. And at this point, it's just a free roam to uh, finish up all the loose ends. Really, you should really call it. Uh, after the game is done. I think there might be a couple missions that the uh, new version of the game, with it being, you know, the scholarship edition being the uh, one-up in generation from the PS2 when the game originally came out to the Xbox 360 and PS3. But, uh, I think that's it. That's essentially all the game that, uh, is there. It's just, I think, like, two or three side missions that I haven't done. And, uh, I'm not sure if I want to get into doing them quite yet. But, uh, yeah. That's the game. I gotta, I gotta admit, this uh, ending music is pretty, pretty nice. <laughs> okay, so. My nose is stuffed up. Just in case you're curious why it sounds weird now. Um. <laughs> I, uh. Yeah, I have nothing else to say. The game is good. The game is fairly good. There are some. story hiccups. Like, uh. At the beginning of the game, Jimmy seems like a uh, kid with morals, or at least he tries to pass himself off as that. But, uh, during the course of the game, he kind of lets go of a couple of those. Um, just in favor of, hey, this is a fucked up thing a kid will do, you know, during this course of his life. Uh, he shouldn't be doing that if, you know, he was morally, you know, maybe not righteous, but... <laughs> Maybe morally, um, I don't know what I'm trying to say here, the, the word, uh, morally straight rather than crooked, you know what I mean? Um, but, yeah, it, it just seems like some of those, uh, missions 
and with how fucked up they are, we're kind of shoehorned in to a character that probably shouldn't be trying that. But, I mean, or probably wouldn't be trying that if he had a choice in the matter. But, that's just my take on it. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I didn't see enough of uh, his character development to see that that was, you know, something he would do, just begrudgingly. But, uh, anyway. This is, uh... This is the end. I'm going to let the uh, VAs uh, tick on through before I uh, skip to the end. Because they, they did good work. They did pretty good work here. I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say that here. They did very good work. Christmas Parent. Did we ever interact with Christmas Parents? I don't think we did. I think, uh... I think they were probably made up in case we were, but I don't think we ever did. Anyway. Oh, doesn't let me skip, huh? <laughs> well then. Uh, yeah. I'm probably gonna cut through a little bit of this. Most of which I'm going to be trying to blow my nose so I can stop sounding like I'm stuffed up. <laughs> be right back. Endless Summer. This is the chapter where you just pick up everything you left off uh, after the game completes. Yep. Yep, that essentially sums it all up. You complete all tasks that you may have missed. What would you call a yard thick in the metric system? Meter stick. Duh. Alright. Uh, yeah. That's the game. And at this point, all it is is a free roam. So, there you have it. That's Bully. <laughs> Figured I'd show you that that's how it is. Anyway. I'm gonna end the episode and the series from here. Thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more. And click the like button if you like this particular video. And share and comment so we can bring more people into this community. We can talk about the games we're playing together. And I will see you all in the next series. This has been the one and only Stray Cat. Playing games and bringing a school back into order after essentially starting the chain of events that would lead it to falling into disorder. Because I decided to listen to a child who was off his meds. And clearly not in his right mind uh, about taking over the school. Should have been a huge red flag for you. <laughs>